Uh, hi, my name is Oliver Yu at the Danforth Plant Science Center. Today, we are going to show you how to generate hairy root composite plants by agrobacterium rhizogenes. This technique was brought to Danforth Center by Dr. Chris Taylor, currently at Ohio State University. Several of my former group members improved these techniques over the years. And today, my current group member, Dr. Steng and Mao, put together this video to show how hairy root composite plants is produced. Agrobacterium rhizogenes are very similar to agrobacterium tumor efficients in that they introduce foreign DNA into plants, but the rhizogenes can induce hairy root formation on wild type tissues forming composite plants, as this one. So on, the, on these composite plants, some of the roots are transgenic, while the shoots are still wild type. Therefore, this technology will not produce transgenic seeds. However, there are three major advantages of hairy root composite plants that make this technology very useful. First, many plant species, especially dicot species, can be transformed by agrobacterium rhizogenes. Second, we do not need to establish tissue culture prior to transformation. We can take many parts of plants, such as seedlings, shoots, and cotyledons to generate composite plants directly. And finally, we can get transgenic root tissue in a matter of weeks. For soybean and medicago truncatular, we can get transgenic root.